Whenever someone speaks about the size of space, they almost always talk about how big it is. And so you have these kind of pictures like, imagine the sun is a sesame seed one millimeter in diameter. Then Alpha Centauri is another sesame seed 27 kilometers away, or something ridiculous like that. And this is a problem if you're ever trying to build a scale model of the solar system or of stars nearby, because you end up with a solar system the size of Sweden, literally. However, I'm going to talk about how, in a sense, space is not that big. You need to compare the distances between these objects with the sizes of these objects. So for instance, from the Sun to the next closest star system, Alpha Centauri, you can fit 30 million suns. So there's a huge amount of space. This is different if you're a galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy is about 100,000 light years across. How far are the closest galaxies? Are they 30 million Milky Ways away? Nope, they're more like one or two. The Milky Way is not really by itself in space. It's really like the big city surrounded by a bunch of little suburbs. We call these satellite galaxies. There's two of these that you can see fairly decently from the southern hemisphere. These are the small Magellanic Cloud and the large Magellanic Cloud. And these are only one or two Milky Way diameters away. So they're actually fairly close to us. Now these are just two of the biggest satellites of the Milky Way. What we have is a big Milky Way galaxy and dozens of these tiny satellites going around it, all within a couple of Milky Way diameters. If we zoom out further, we can find the Andromeda Galaxy. But even this isn't that far away. It's maybe 25 Milky Way diameters away. So it's not like we're touching each other, but we're close enough that we can really feel the gravitational influence of each other. Now the Andromeda Galaxy also has a bunch of little buddy galaxies around it. So what we've got going on is the Milky Way Galaxy with a bunch of little satellites, and then maybe 25 Milky Ways away, we have the Andromeda Galaxy with a bunch of little satellite galaxies around it. So this is a quite different picture to comparing stars with stars. Comparing galaxies with galaxies is not like two sesame seeds separated by 27 kilometers. Instead, suppose you have an apple. Around that apple, there are a bunch of little plums. Those are the satellite galaxies. Then maybe a meter away, you have another apple with another bunch of plums. So they're really a pretty decent size compared to the distance to each other. The fact that galaxies are fairly large compared to the distance between them means that they actually bump into each other quite a lot. This is quite different to stars, who almost never collide or even have any sort of close encounter unless they happen to form in the same place to start with. In fact, and you may have heard this, we predict that we will collide with the Andromeda Galaxy in about 4 billion years. This won't be a hugely destructive event. Basically, the two galaxies will smoosh together and form one big new galaxy. It might stir things up in the middle and we might get a bright core of the galaxy going on. But even in a collision between galaxies, stars are so far apart compared to their size that they will almost never collide with each other. But in general, galaxies actually smash into each other all the time. You can see a really good example of this in the Whirlpool Galaxy, which makes a really good desktop picture, actually. It's a big spiral galaxy, and you can see this other blob attached to the spiral. And this is another galaxy that's colliding with it. And we know that quite a lot of galaxies are undergoing these major mergers. About 3 or 4% are colliding with another galaxy at any one time. That might not seem like a big number, but if you think about it, 3 or 4% of the time you're colliding with something, that's actually quite a lot. If you imagine you're walking down the street for an hour, if you bump into a person 3 or 4% of the time, that means you're spending about 2 minutes straight of bumping into people. And that actually is quite a large amount of time. This was discovered from the Galaxy Zoo project. In the Galaxy Zoo project, ordinary people look at pictures of galaxies and try to pick out which ones look like they are galaxies that are colliding with each other. And this is quite a useful thing to do, because the human eye is still better at picking out these sorts of details than computers are. So if you'd like to have a go at this yourself, if you want to participate in some real scientific research, you can go to galaxyzoo.org and sign up for an account and you'll go straight into it.